if you wouldn't put up with these red flags at a friendship, you definitely wouldn't want to put up with them for the rest of your life till death do you part. Hey everyone, my name is Jackie Angel with Ascension Presents and today we're going to talk about red flags in a relationship. What are some big red flags? I would say an overall question that you should ask yourself in any relationship, even if a family, there are certain things that you can definitely have boundaries with certain family members if some of these things are present but ask yourself in the friendship in the relationships that you choose like friendships or romantic relationships um if these red flags are present get out and if they're present in a family relationship then you definitely need to put up boundaries an overall good question to ask is in this relationship does this relationship help you to be freer or less free is this relationship life-giving or is it life-sucking um, do you experience peace and joy in this relationship or do you kind of feel that like constant ick in your stomach, like this, like there's something not right. We're going to start with like the major red flags of a relationship and maybe go down to things that maybe aren't as obvious, but some of these bigger questions, if you say yes to any of these, these are red flags. Okay. So does this person abuse you physically, emotionally, verbally, or sexually? This is a major red flag get out of this romantic relationship or don't put up with this in a friendship. Do they pressure you to sin or make fun of you for not sinning? Do they call you names because they call you a prude because you won't do sexual things? Um, do they make you feel guilty for not getting drunk or drinking with them? Do they pressure you to see a bad movie or watch pornography? Do they pressure you to live with them? I would say specifically in a romantic relationship, are you with them because you feel pressured or, co or coerced? Are you afraid? Or maybe even a friendship, I guess that could happen too, where you are really only friends because you're afraid. Maybe you're afraid that maybe they you're like, they're going to they're going to do something bad to me. I've also um, dealt with people who don't want to leave a relationship because the person has manipulated them or threatened them. Like, I'm going to hurt myself if you leave me. You guys, now this is a tactic of manipulation. Do not stand for it. Get out. OK because you are being manipulated. For some reason, Netflix had a bunch of people who were like narcissistic sociopaths, like the Tinder swindler. I guess maybe another question is, are they asking you for tens of thousands of dollars and you feel pressured to give them money, like Tinder swindler? Do you feel like you are being used as an object for their pleasure? That might be in a romantic relationship or even in a friendship, I guess. Or do you feel like you're being used? I can tell if someone is being manipulative, if they don't like you because of something, but then all of a sudden you become useful for them or, and they can use you like, hmm, maybe you've grown in popularity or something or money or whatever. And then they, they use you like they didn't like you before, but all of a sudden you become useful. That is not, that is a toxic relationship. Okay. So you are being used. So get out in a, in a friendship or relation, romantic relationship. Are you afraid of bringing up tough issues, annoyances, frustrations for fear that they might get defensive? lash out at you or shut down or maybe break up with you. That is not good, especially if you're thinking about marrying this person till death do you part. If you can't bring up tough, tough things, that is a major, major red flag. Like if you're afraid, that's not good. Do you feel like you're walking on eggshells with what you say or do for fear they might break up with you or might break off your friendship with you? Again, this is a, that's a toxic relationship. Are you afraid to show your weaknesses because they expect you to be perfect? Do you have that constant, pit of anxiety in your belly, whether you are with them or apart from them. Do you feel that anxiety when you think of marrying them? Now I'm not talking about clinical anxiety. I'm talking about situational anxiety, but our friend, Dr. Gregor Bataro, who is a Catholic therapist, I asked him about this because I've had young people say, Jackie, you say pit in the stomach, but how about those of us who have constant anxiety? And he said to me, Dr. Bataro said to me, the thing is, even if you have constant anxiety, you still can have peace about a friendship or a relationship and you still are able to discern the person. Okay. So I will just say that. Um, are you confused about the relationship constantly? Do you go back and forth about whether or not if this is a romantic relationship about whether or not they're one? Like, are you constantly confused? Confusion is not good. All right. Are you free to be your true self? Do you feel loved in who you are even in your weaknesses? Do you feel challenged to be a better, holier person? Are you free to be childlike, to laugh, to have joy with your friend or significant other? Do you feel challenged spiritually, intellectually, emotionally, and physically? Is your relationship healing? Is there love helping you to deal with issues of the past without them being a savior to you? Rather, they point you to the savior for healing. Are you willing to spend, this is for people who are discerning marriage with a person. 
are you willing to spend 24 hours, seven days a week with this person for the rest of your life? I feel like COVID, whew, a lot of separations and divorces happened during COVID because people were stuck with someone for 24, uh, 24 seven, right? And they realized like, oh wow, I really don't like being with this person all the time. Like I actually really like them being gone for a week at a time or whatever it was. Like people realize like, wow, I don't really like this person. Maybe I like the idea of them. If you're discerning marriage, are they your best friend with whom you have romance? And I wrote a blog called The Devil Wants You to Settle in Your Relationship because the devil does want you to be just miserable. Like God does not want you to be miserable. God wants you to be fully alive. He came that we might have life and life in abundance. And our friendships and even our romantic relationships are going to either help us be more free or they are going to give us, give us that anxiety. They're not going to help us be free. In fact, I just know people, and I'm sure you know people that when they're in bad relationships, toxic relationships, manipulative relationships, you see the change in your friend. You see the change or maybe it's happened to you. You see like, oh my gosh, I wasn't myself. I became somebody else. So I hope, I hope these have helped. Maybe you discern and I'll post, I'll repost this, these questions so you can reread them um, because they're not just for romantic relationships. They can also be for friendships. There are definitely times in our life that sometimes our friendships just have to go. Or if we realize they are toxic relationships, we have to have boundaries um, because there are so many amazing people out there and so many good friends. I am a big proponent of don't waste your time. You guys, life is short don't waste your time with toxic people okay but not even necessarily toxic people it could be a good person especially if it's in someone you're discerning marriage with it could be a great person but literally when you think about marrying them it makes you want to throw up okay <laughs> they could check off all the boxes but you're only in the relationship because you're afraid of breaking up with them because you're afraid of this this and this okay you're afraid of being alone you're afraid no one's gonna love you like those are not a reason to stay in a relationship so i hope this video helped you and i want to pray that you have good relationships good friendships good romantic relationships that hopefully lead you if you're called to marriage to an amazing life-giving beautiful marriage pray for me i'll pray for you from ascension presents god bless